Mm. I filmed a video of how I do my signature little single Sora pony. I call it my I Dream of Genie ponytail. Because usually I do it like really high. And I wrap like a big piece of hair around my ponytail. And it just swirls. I always, I've worn this hairstyle since I played sports in high school. I think a lot of girls play like basketball and soccer. They had like this ponytail. I remember sitting behind this girl. She was like the cool girl. And like she's still like really kind of like popular. Like growing up in my 20s. Like oh okay. Like everybody knew her and stuff like that. So I would be like behind her. I forgot what class it is. Like probably like the senior like advanced like going into college you need to know like these things because I don't I think it was like a reading class or something or language arts or something like that I don't know vocabulary there you go vocabulary class I literally would stare at her ponytail like how does she do that and then over the years I kind of like learned and perfected it and it just got really long hers are just like um you know, banana curl when they put uh, a roller in the hair. Hers would just be like really, really tight. But yeah. Mine kind of like bumps up. I didn't do as much volume. Like as I usually do because I was recording. And I was like far away from the mirror. Like I was standing right here recording. And the mirror that I was looking at was this one. So look how far I was like doing my hair you know so usually I'm like doing my hair like this in the vanity and stuff or the vanity mirror but yeah this is my green drink from Starbucks it's a venti green tea cream foam what is that c-r-m-f-r frap I don't know what that is something frap maybe venti green tea coconut well i don't know anyways it's a matcha frap made with coconut milk no classic syrup no whip with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla two pumps of raspberry syrup and add the caramel crunchies so delicious so yeah <sighs> welcome to my channel guys Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the final episode of me cleaning for the week of Earth Week. It's Earth Week and it's literally spring because as you, I don't know if you could see in my other video, there's a blossoming tree and it's snowing. I don't know if I shared that little image with you guys because, you know, as I said, Okay, so, um, yeah. This is gonna be, like, a super, like, personal video and stuff. Like, I'm just uploading and, yeah, or recording and vlogging. I don't know. I'm, like, shy because this is the end. I want to get through it. It's, like, I'm over here. I'm talking. I'm procrastinating. That's not what I should be doing. I should be cleaning. And so, if you've seen the very first episode, I was cleaning this section However, I thought I lost footage of me doing episode one, which was cleaning this. And so, in my uploads of episode three, I call it episode two because I was just cleaning and I couldn't find footage. So, I found more footage of when I was doing episode one which was this it's kind of like i don't know i don't know i thought i wasn't gonna do this as episode one and me starting this week was like episode one because low-key i lost or misplaced footage from february when i started you know 
and this week i was just like okay well i started something in february and i stopped and it's like the week of april it's earth week right so like let me just start all over again and that's why i kind of just started as episode one episode two when i was filming but when i was uploading and looking through everything and like just like everything all my footage I finally found it and so luckily I did get to like actually do my one because I was filming over here with this turned this way and I kind of just wanted to show you that I turned this dresser this way and I'm cleaning and I clean like everything I wipe the walls I dusted and everything uh, at the beginning I keep saying February but it was the end of February it was like beginning of March after um, um chinese new year and so yeah i already explained i super hardcore clean after that but i kind of like stopped <laughs> i was like wow i'm super cleaning this and i'm super tired and there's just a lot to do and i stopped and i was like if i don't record i'm never gonna film or i'm never going to clean you know so let me clean and record and that'll get me to continuously to do it because look it's saturday it's the last day of Earth Week, and I'm finally going to be cleaning this. So this is stuff that I basically use when I do my makeup and do my face. So I'm kind of like going to really thoroughly tell you what I do because sometimes I feel like I don't, you know? So this is all my makeup that I like use and stuff. This perfume that I use every day or whatever. And then I'll be going through these drawers. And also I forgot... This is a drawer from my condo in Riverside. So I've not gone through that. I leave these as like panties and underwear and pantyhose and bras and sports bras and stuff like that. But I just never go through that bottom drawer. So I remembered this drawer because I remembered this extension cord. And I was like, oh wait, I used to have this extension cord that I would use in my office. Let me see if it was in that office drawer that I had. And lo and behold, that's what it is. And so I also put my light stim um, machine in there. Because I switched it from my Boost light LED mask. And so that's in there. And then we're just going to go through it. I'm pretty sure it's like some personal stuff. So... Um, I'm just going to explain to you that that's also what I'll be cleaning. If there seems to be like super personal stuff where I'm just like blocking um, stuff out, I apologize like in advance if I never uploaded. But if I end up uploading it, that's what we're going to do. Okay? So, let me put this down. Because I'm going to stop drinking it. Because I had to stop drinking it already and it's just so good. So, where do I begin? So, this is my Target bag for my brushes, my dirty brushes. So that's just what I'm gonna do right now. I have my phone just in case I like wanna zoom in something. Throw that on the bed. And I got my 91% alcohol. Um, and where's my finger towels that I just had right here? Okay, okay. And what else? What else, what else? <laughs> I'm trying to explain to you. So I did clean some shelves because they were like a little dusty from the last time I cleaned and dusted. And so behind these dressers are just, it's, I've lost stuff <laughs> within the last like month or two. And there's stuff behind it and I'm pretty sure there's dust. So we're going to grab that too and we're just going to clean. You're going to clean with me and you're going to be with me and you're going to be chilling. So I'm not going to be talking too much of like what's going on with me. I'm just going to be talking and explaining this makeup stuff. So let's get some paper towel now with some alcohol. Last time I cleaned with Lysol. And like I said, I already wiped down these drawers. So this could go in the laundry. This I need to um, empty this little teddy bear of a pencil sharpener. So yeah. So I'm gonna, this is actually brand new. I just filmed the video yesterday because it came yesterday. And yeah, I'm like just super chatty in that video. 
I'm just going to clean everything that is in here so far because I'm going to clean inside the bag and then I'm going to toss products in there. So what's up guys? Have you cleaned yet? Have you cleaned your room? Have you organized stuff that you don't use? Have you given clothes away? I still have bags of clothes. Like I want it to go to people who really, really, really need it. And yeah, let me see. My oh, lip liner. My this powder was not closed right. Mm -hmm. Or there was powder in the lid and like it got turned over. And then um, I'm going to mop and sweep and mop afterwards because I'm going to do this and then I'm going to pull everything that's dirty and then yeah. And then I have some laundry. I feel like nobody could ever get rid of laundry. Like there's always going to be laundry for everybody. Even if you like wear new stuff all the time. You're still going to want to wear your favorite stuff. I'm <laughs> still so going to have like laundry. Why isn't this? Because you're smaller or something? Yeah. Okay. What is this? Eyelash glue? Like, oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, a smaller. Oh, no, that's the rubber one. I talked about like these rubber hair ties. They hurt so bad. I feel like I'm gonna be using this every single day, this tinted moisturizer. I don't know like what so I have this container for like face so there's like blushes and highlighters this is a Becca highlighter this is foundation so it's going to go in here with the tinted moisturizer with this foundation are you guys too far? do you guys want to come in? closer? Put it on my bed because there's not a lot of skincare over here. Some color corrector. My eye drops. They were out of my zero type. Or why do I always call it that? I don't think that's what it's called. I always forget the name. It starts with a Z. And they're really good eye drops. Makeup brushes. Oh, I'm gonna do eyeliner in here. Mm, eyeliner, so then eyeliner and glue for your eyelashes. Eyeliner. these tart mascaras oh 
Oh, this is Huda, Huda Beauty Balm Brows in Ebony. Soft Black, sorry. I think Ebony is another brand. So it is Soft Black by Huda Beauty. I'll put it in brows. Since that's eyes, I'll just put that in eyes. Mascara and eyes. These are tools. I should have my waste basket over here. I should stay down there. Let's put this down here in the pile too. Let's see. I'm concealer. I like these push up lashes pillow top by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know. Oh, my nail. My my nails. I gotta cut my nails before they break because they're already like cracked. And I want to be the one. I want to be the one. I want to be the one to cut them. NARS concealer, NARS concealer, um, I don't know if they still had it, but I already have four of them. This is for my edges. I already have four of them, so it makes no sense. They're just tempting me into buying more concealer. <laughs> um, no, four or five, I have five. Um... You get four times the points in the minis and in the bigs. Let's see what I'm doing. Can you see my back? Let me stand up against the wall. Let me make sure I'm looking okay. Here's some Tarte eyeliner, track liner. Let's put it here. Here's some highbrow. When I was cleaning under here, I already... Let me grab it right now, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're not gonna take it. Sorry, I go crazy. <laughs> I'm super random <laughs> with singing songs. Whoopty, your favorite rapper, Whoopty. He begging me for the. <laughs> Keep it so G cause I'm Gucci, bad and I'm bougie. Don't get this pretty confused, you on my boat. song in my head oh this is so good i leave it in here because i don't want to get to to get damaged but that's okay look at how pretty i freaking love this patrick star one size in everything and more it's like a pink glitter put it here for the eyes we're just doing lips all right here oh this was a rosemary oil rosemary is really good for curly hair and your scalp Either you hating or jacking the swag. Chicks take pictures in a dress. Take it better than that. I see you hiding the tag. They say I'm loco. <laughs> Gotta meet in the. <laughs> Keep that on the low low. Ah, I love this song. I want to sing more. But I don't want to get copyright. <laughs> Favorite Mac brush. 
one. Oh, it's my favorite, but it's over here in the freaking drop and go. Bobby pins. I'm gonna go with my little hair edger baby hair thing. I'm gonna put it away. Here's the Huda Booty eyebrow box. I don't know what I should do with these. I'm going to clean this drawer and then bring it down. This Tarte Press Powder Smooth Operator. It's a, like a darker color. Medium? I don't know why it's so tan on me though. Ooh, May the 4th be with you is coming up very soon. <gasps> Should I do a little eyeshadow look? Where I'm using literally like every single color in this palette. I already have. I did like a halo eye with this. And it looked so cool. I did a video, but my grandmother started talking in the background. And I was just gonna film my plate, what I ate on St. Patrick's Day. I did that as a green eyeshadow look. And my grandma was just talking and I had to like stop recording. I'm like, that's a no. That's a no go. here or you see me wiping this like scrubbing it literally there's still glue on there I take like when you get a new eyelash say like this is a bottom lash or flare or whatever a corner flare there's always gonna be like this stock factory glue on it and that I, this is where I, I the eye drops come in because my eyes are so sensitive um, it knows like it, I I can't use it my eyes will like literally like get stuck together and I'm like force prying them open I mean that's a look too you know <laughs> believe me the super low eyes I freaking I love it when your lashes are so full And your eyes look super glossy. Water on the wrist, let the diamonds just sink with them. Let it ever try to play me if I link with him. 42 shots, and I ain't trying to have a drink with him. No, Lamar, I'm just feeling like I owed him. In Big body bands, not a pathfinder. <laughs> oh, these lyrics. <laughs> I love them so much. I mean, they're super fun. 
funny. Like, even if they write their own songs or somebody writes it for them, like, I don't know. It's hilarious. Like, in a good way. Music videos are fun to work on. Sometimes like being a makeup artist like on a music video or even like on a like a like an indie film, say. And you're done with the girl's makeup and like you people are kinda like nervous coming into like a setting like that because um they either like come by themselves or something like that or they just like want the exposure you know so like they're nervous and then like i already know you know how stuff like that could be so i just like make them feel comfortable and um and then the, when, when they go on set or you know and the, the director is screaming what they want the girl to do. They're not paying attention because, like, they're new. And then, like, I'm over here, like, making sure everything looks good. Making sure the lighting's on point. Making sure, like, like however they could be seen, like, on camera, like, they look decent. in each of their um, areas for the scene. And sometimes the girls don't pay attention. And I'm over here, like, screaming and directing. And then they'll do it. It's pretty cute. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Let me put these on the side over here. Okay. Lips. I feel like I need to dust him again. That's why every week you should just come with like one of those magnet Swiffer dusters. And that's also why I got these bags and totes. Like, okay, what lipstick do I want to wear? Where's and then, like, my favorite eyeliners, my stuff that I wear every day, and one little thing. Let me put this in this thing. Here, I also want to show you or re-show you these things. You seen that giant um, avocado oil bottle in episode five? Um, that's what I would put the avocado in here, and then whatever oils that I like, whatever works for me, whatever I use for myself, my body, my skin, my hair, my blood system, my everything whatever whatever works for me you know what i'm saying because not everything works for the same the same oil doesn't work for everybody you know so um you literally have to like sit down talk to somebody and like them just know about you and be like okay girl this is all this stuff i know let me hook you up and then you can just make your own but it's kind of hard for people to like know what's going to work for them, you know? That's why you should have somebody who's really knowledgeable helping you. Or just really get into it and learn stuff about yourself first, try it, and then, I don't know, you know? Like, grapeseed oil works for, like, a lot of people, but I'm so, like, sad that I can't just use, like, grapeseed oil. I'll probably have to, like, mix it with something. And even then, I'm like, it just doesn't work for me, which is, like, upsetting because it, it's a good oil, you know, that everybody can use or everybody can get recommended to. So it's just, like, little stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. 
that goes in the eyes. So we're gonna clean it again because it touched the floor. And this actually it should go in like my face care because as soon as I wash my face or something like that, I like put eye drops after I put my eye cream, so. So, this is like face. tiny little five day supply but this one was in tan tan okay now move this off to the side i should have a bag but i don't want to like put everything in a bag and then i have to dig through what's recycled what's garbage i'll just throw it in one and then at the end when i'm like done cleaning mm -hmm, um i'm gonna pick out the boxes and stuff and then recycle. So, oh, I forgot this thing. Best Buy, I always get Best Buy notifications. Because I want to know when I can get like a $10 coupon or gift card or whatever the heck ever I live for my best buy credits be more makeup brushes so I'm gonna use this makeup brushes and actually I'm gonna put this back because I didn't want it over here but whatever do we want to read one of these real quick let's see let's see oh I cleaned it and it's still we're just gonna flip through let me make sure that the note page is all legit I don't know. I seen clouds and my thumb got stuck there. So that's what we're going to do. Whatever. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. So thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for me. Thank you for giving everyone, including myself, including my son and everyone who watches right now, everyone on this earth right now. Thank you for putting a roof over our heads. If you're filling us with warm food, thank you so much. Thank you for the good weather we're having. Even if it's bad weather with a lot of storming rain, I know after the rainstorm, there comes a rainbow and lots and lots of pretty flowers and just a lot of sunshine. And so thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. So, let's see. We're going to go to the first drawer. So, I can't even say what, like, this drawer actually is. Okay. So, we're going to go in here real quick. My hands are clean because I have alcohol. I just have mental issues with being clean and touching this stuff. Um. Okay. So, headband for makeup. Had a band for makeup. And then this is a washcloth to remove your makeup. And then I got another headband in here. So I seen a blue headband over there in my hair drawer last time. This I only wore when I opened it. I don't know. It would be cute to like wear with like really fun colors when you do your eye makeup. This super satin pink scrunchie. Another hairband. Can you see everything that's in here? Cool. Okay. So.
so then, um, from Sol de Janeiro. It smells super pretty. I think it keeps rolling. Like when it knocks over, it just rolls to the back. So that's why I have it in here. This is a toner for my clients. Like when I do their face. Um, because there's a lot in here. You know, and all I need is like one quick swipe. So um, I'm actually... I don't know how long I've had this for, like maybe since like 2018, so I'm going to get rid of it. And if, you're, if you've watched every single episode, I know I said like, oh, this is going into the garbage, but I'm going to literally dump the product inside out. Like this I'm going to use because it's, you know, the shower oil. It's all refill either or. And they also have refill bags, so it's a little bit cheaper. Um, if you buy the giant bag, it's literally like a whole bottle and a half or even two bottles of the refill pouch. So I'm going to keep this. And here's that black sponge I've been wanting to test out. So that could go on my face box. Here is another spatula for masks. It's like a silicone and you know you don't have to have product build up inside the bristles of any other brush and it just like literally glides onto the skin i don't know where to put that um here is Fargo construction face mask here is a uh, green tea with cucumber and recycle. Here's some Pond's anti-wrinkle cream. That crap burned my face after I like shaved for the very first time. I shaved my face for the very first time on camera ever of ever removing hair. And um yeah, it just it didn't mix well. So I'm gonna get rid of what's inside and recycle. I have to word my stuff right because I was watching that over and I was like, what am I saying garbage? Why am I saying throw out? This is not, um, yeah, this is not a uh, green weak language talk. Speaking about green, here's this like minty deep puffer super cooling thing. I hadn't used it and I opened it. Oh, they're distributed in Irvine, California. That's really cool. It smells like menthol and then it's very, very like a, I'm not saying that it's weak, but it's a weak scent if you smell it. But when it was up to my eyes, I, it felt cooling. <laughs> Let me get this little red thing and put these costume earrings in there. I mean, they're, I just call it costume jewelry. They're really pretty. I got them at Michael's. Michael's has it like a jewelry section oh, here's some necklaces I'm just gonna keep them in there and here is keychain and this is this should go to my body stuff it is a body brush and basically it's a dry brush and you could do this for cellulite before you go into the shower okay so I organized that and since Basically, I open this drawer often. I'm going to actually take stuff out and dust little stuff in there. This, I'm going to put this in the skincare box. Oh, this is probably just some um, money, to be honest. Let's see. Oh, I went to go grab this bag because I was like, yes, I finally don't have to use this bag for my foundations anymore. I think it's 
like a two dollar bill or something. Seven dollars. I never even noticed. I just now I was like collecting two dollar bills to paint on because it's different than a dollar and we're not trying to paint on a hundred dollar bill and we're not trying to be basic and paint on a dollar bill you know what i'm saying okay so let's bring you down to the next level let me see over here now um We have paper towel and alcohol ready. Cause I'm gonna probably disinfect some makeup in here. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to be recycling these because they do not work and they were $5 for a pack of six. Here is this container that I use for extra lashes that I don't want to throw out. And it's empty. Yeah, see? Empty. Recycle. This is a pumpkin spice palette. I could put in that. Or probably put in here to be honest. I don't know. I don't know where. Because I have these eyeshadow palettes. I don't. I, I always use the Star Wars palette. I'm such a Star Wars fan, so I love it. So I'll get with these palettes and move to the side. And then I have a bunch of makeup bags. This one's empty. Oh, this, this, and there was one more. I think I threw into the yeah, because it was really flat. I threw it into the dirty clothes because I'm gonna wash these. So here is light. So I'm gonna wipe these off with a cough. And this goes in. I don't want that to be shown. <laughs> Let's see. I use these as a sample. These I still have two. Here is the primer. I'll put that in the face box. Here is this chapstick. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's this mousse I did not like. There's still a lot in there. Some garlic. Here's some hoops. These feel like the ones I just got from, I'm going to drop them in here. That's where some of the jewelry is. Those feel like the ones I just got from Amazon. This is Cocoa Face Powder. Oh. I want to root for the top of some of it. Uh, I have like a lot of African American skin tone colors in this black opal. Um, but when I and then I collected them like, want to say September October because I didn't have that in my kit, and I had to re uh, basically give them away because I wasn't using them. And then COVID hit and like. I, I'm not, I can't, I can't have clients like that anymore. Like, when is this ever going to end? Oh, what's in here? Here's a ColourPop palette that I use, like, very often. And here is, ooh, Kylie's first eyeshadow palette, I think. This is wrecked. I have to clean them. Oh, this MAC liner, what is this? Oh, this is kind of like new for me. Stila eyeliner. Wash. Um, this MAC liner barely ever drew on. It was very dry. 
And this is like green, is it not? A different color for me. This looks crazy. Um, here's another scrunchie. Ooh, this is cute. I never knew that. Can you see that? It's like lace with velvet. Velvet. Is it? Yeah, because I was going to say, is that worn out? No, it's actual, like... I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't know. Does this come out? No, the fibers don't come out. I'm confused. Anyways, I'm not gonna get rid of it though. This cream is really good. This Bosha Chia Seed Moisture Cream. It's so dense and so good for you in the winter time. It felt so good on my skin. But then skincare. I'm gonna wash this bag too. The sex bag, makeup bag. My plastic bags and stuff. These sponges for powder. This Anastasia Build Your Own Palette. There's dust in there. I got this the same time I got her first palette they came out. And it's just super old. So I'm going to get rid of that. Here's a hair band. I love that. Here is some antiseptic hand wipes. What is it? Sunscreen. Oh, put that in my face. And this just recycle. Here is a sponge. Yes. And this. Here's this Lancome Genifique serum. Put that in skincare. Here is a new NARS concealer. Here's a cap and cap. <laughs> no cap. A makeup brush. Wow. Here's a bag. Tissues. Here, what the box of that Lancome SPF came in? A sponge, another sponge. That's my thing to clean. This is the container for the Glowfique. <laughs> Genifique. Here's a new clear make bag. Here's another one of those. Gels. Here is the Urban Decay. It's done. Urban Decay All Nighter. But now I have the glow one. I really, really like that one. Here is a cap to micro brow pencil. Here is that um, eyeshadow palette. And stuff in here, some more sanitizing wipes. This is done. This old mascara from Lash Paradise. This pour and shine primer still be good. Let me see. Yeah, 24 months. Awesome. Okay, here's some more brushes. Oh, um, what's this lipstick in? And myth. Some tweezers. Oh, 
when I first was a brow artist, I was addicted to buying tweezers. I had so many freaking tweezers. I miss all of them so much. Just staring at however many I had. Different color ones. Oh my god, just awesome. Here's this Morphe lip gloss. It was like a really, it just made me look so pale. Uh, here is a white Wet n Wild eyeliner that I got from the dollar store. Here is some lash primer. I could keep this. Here is a colored teddy, velvet teddy. I think they charge 50 cents to 75 cents more for it to be like a color version container. Here is a lip balm. <laughs> it looks like my walls. It's so cute. Okay. Here's that eyelash curler. I'm gonna soak it in alcohol in a Dixie cup. And here, I didn't prefer, like, I didn't care for this Air Volume Mega Mascara by L'Oreal. I just thought it was going to be oh, something similar as, along the lines of that other thing. Oh, um, to... Yeah, these two. No. Here is Brush Bath, but the little tiny travel one. And... Ooh, here's those curvy brow tweezers or <laughs> scissors. And that could get washed and it could get empty. And then Okay, so now, I think, um, I don't want to, like, move the camera, so I'm going to, this container, I'm going to switch them. So let's take this out, because there's a lot of stuff in here, and yeah, it's just really heavy. And I hope it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. So maybe we could dump, you know? Like, I'm gonna dump these lashes. Oh, here's these earrings from Amazon. So they were gold, rose gold, and uh, silver. Cute. Jewelry I'm going to put up here. Some more glasses. I'm supposed to wear these for... My, I Actually, I wore them a few times. But I was supposed to wear them for my February red and black challenge. But um, let me tell you something about that. My social stuff. So, 
during Chinese New Year, so during February, you're not supposed to wear red and black. And Chinese New Year lasts like pretty much like the week before it starts and like literally like two weeks after it ends. So you're not supposed to wear wet, any black with red. Uh, it's really, it's bad luck. And um, I think because I had that stuff hanging in my closet, the doggies passed away. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm so superstitious. It's so funny. Uh, yeah, I love these. These were supposed to go with, you know, that Chanel patch that I had. I was supposed to like have another outfit and these sunnies were like so on point with like the whole look. Like it's not even funny. And yeah. Okay. Oh, I got this pink fan. Cute. like uh, face mask, makeup, eyelashes. Here's some more jewelry. I'm gonna put it up here. Inklet. Um, here's a little Shein makeup bag. I think I'm gonna give to my sister and like pack a bunch of goodies in here. And then that way she has like this little pouch to take to work or something. Cause it's like, what is stuff doing in here? I'm just gonna fill it and like make it dirty, like for what? Like I could give my sister stuff, you know? So let's see. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, here is stuff from the hotels. So here's a shower cap. Can you see all this stuff? Here, there we go. So yeah, I'm probably gonna give her some of this stuff too because I don't want it to go bad. Like I lived in a hotel for almost a week where they had L'Occitane stuff. And um, yeah, <laughs> I would just have them like clean the room and replace stuff. I would use it, you know, but then like the stuff that I use, I would put away because I need to use like at least half the bottle to like wash. I love to like, wash and rinse i don't know why and then repeat and yeah some of this stuff is just like this shampoo it is more shampoo so they have citrus verbena and then regular verbena like one lemon one lime and also soap <laughs> This, these are like seven dollars at the store i'm not gonna lie so if you say that i'm stealing like that's horrible i didn't steal from the store i literally stayed in a hotel that was super expensive and yeah i just what the heck i got courtesy stuff so whatever nail files sewing kit Just a bunch of like little verbena stuff. Just my boyfriend's stickers, some more stickers, some more Nike stickers. I need that sticker box downstairs. Here is like a throwaway thong. I don't know how to explain it. My feet are I've been in this position for over 30 minutes cleaning. <laughs> okay. Let's see some more lashes. I'm just gonna start like this. Um, oh my gosh, here's some. I'm, oh my gosh, this drawer. Oh, here's a Victoria's Secret face mask. Oh my gosh, I lost my face mask with the V on it. Unless I didn't use it. I don't know if I used it, but I had a face mask with a cursive. V. Let me just put this off to the side. Here are these satin pillowcases. I already have one of the black ones on my pillow. Here's a silk pillowcase from my hair company. Plastic water bottle from Starbucks. Let's see what is this? 
Oh, here's those charcoal toothbrushes. Here is Restoring Spray Natural Growth. Um, I don't know if I should use this because it's pretty much way older than a year and a half. And I don't want this product to mess with my products that I have going on. So I'm not going to use this. Or I could give it to my other sister because she has super huge curly hair. Here is this ice roller. Open this. this is actually the reason why I got BoxyCharm. And I happened to get it and I was super excited. And I only got like two boxes or two months of stuff. And then I was like, oh my goodness. Let me listen to the reviews because yeah. And so I got like... I was um, disappointed by the company like two or three times for various reasons and I don't like to like nitpick at stuff but like yeah I was not cool. I got some new makeup brushes, this soap for my eyebrows, I still want to do that soap look. Ah oh, here's a belly button ring container, let me put this. In my sister's thing so I could just give it to her and let's just put this right there put that right there I don't know what that goes to but I like it so pretty I don't know I love that color so I'm gonna put this I don't know why this is so dark and lemony. It's because it's made, made, made with natural ingredients. So I'm pretty sure that it's just like settling and stuff. <sighs> Spray paint caps. Okay. Some more art stuff. Some more like These are small exercise small gloves for me. So I don't have to ruin my nail polish when I spray paint. I just wanted to test it out, like see how thick it is before I buy like a whole box and stuff. So I just bought one pair. Oh, that's why I smell so pretty. Here are all of her samples. I'm probably gonna give these to my sister. See, this is a huge, huge rubber band when um, these are the normal size rubber band and these are the giant ones. Sometimes my hair is just really, really, really big and fluffy, so when I put it in a bun, it needs one of those. Here's this black charcoal teeth whitening powder and uh yeah <laughs> i don't know i don't think it's good for your teeth just a powder like this what come on and is not straight powder there's like peppermint in there so i mean i can put it on my face as a face mask but why would i because there's other ingredients in here so i'm gonna recycle and get rid of here's some nail polishes one of these i did not like the way that it smelled i don't even use these anymore i found other heat protectants let me give these to my mom she could use them on my sisters or something if they straighten their hair This is really good. I couldn't find it ever again. This bamboo fiber blowout mist thickening and restoring. And it had like this volume effect. And I loved it so much.
loops. And I guess I'll keep it like that. More nail polish stuff. Girl. Ooh, this is the best top coat. It like makes her nails be like a super finisher, like a glass finisher. Ultra super shiny. I get asked all the time, like, oh my god, do you get like a gel manicure? And I'm like, no, it's just nail polish and this top coat. Super fast drying, like it this Sesh V is awesome. Here is my favorite nail clippers. These make your nails just like square off like super freaking perfect. Like I don't ever since I bought this on an accident, I was like, it's so expensive. There's no other freaking nail clippers, not even like the dollar ones. Let me just splurge. And I just love them. I love them. Here's another sewing kit. This nail remover box. You just pour nail polish in there and then like you throw your finger in that little spongy hole. But um, I think the sponge is like done after a while you have to buy another one. And then um, basically like any other sponge, you know, it just doesn't do its job anymore. <laughs> and yeah. And so you have to get one that will keep absorbing the liquid and then one that you know because you could be pressing up against this and like you know you want a good sponge what is this oh that face oil that smelled like this whole food stuff that i used and this was sealed so I'm just going to use out of like probably like a neck and chest serum. Take it out of its box and put it with my, um, oh my god. Look at the container. It's like broken or something. It's all on an angle. Okay. Alright, this is a shampoo from the hotel. This is a super bright pink hair band. This is a vitamin C serum. Please be ultra careful if you're using vitamin C. And, um, yeah, some vitamin Cs aren't good for people with acne or breakouts. And also, you have to wear, like, a really strong SPF. If you're going to use vitamin C, I kind of recommend it towards the, like, mid-fall throughout the winter. Because, um... It can irritate you and you could just get like a lot of like sunspots and stuff. And that's why you have to wear really heavy SPF when you're using vitamin C. And this is done. in here <laughs> my collection of that I just kind of want to dump the nail polishes in there but since they're lined up I'm gonna go put them in my nail box downstairs and I got some soap so I'll leave that up here I don't know I'm just I don't know I'm just gonna sort stuff and figure it out later. But, uh, yeah. Just put the water bottle in there. I didn't clean the eyeshadow. And they have a whole mess right there. So let me right here. Since it's supposed to be my makeup drawer. And put these lotions down here. Okay, I'm going to disinfect these and then put these in here later. Alright, we'll just organize, well, I'll organize it later and put stuff where it goes and figure out what I'm going to do. But 
Now we're just gonna switch over to this drawer right here. I'm gonna move all the stuff. last and final battle boss is this drawer so let's pull it out and let's see what's in here okay so this is a dress that i had pulled out for chinese new year but also it's like um it's very authentic okay and there's a store in Riverside and basically they love me <laughs> and yeah so there's that and let's see this is cotton balls and more nail polishes my light stem machine this is to roll my thighs and my booty and my tummy um yeah for circulation and cellulite this is a bunch of strings for something oh bras and uh, oh my gosh this bag ripping okay what is this scissors this is a victoria's secret pink bandana so i got that style on it um here is a wooden cross necklace like that. And goes on here. I have no idea what this goes to. It's an adapter for something. Spray bottle, recycle. I uh, keep those. Here's a little hand thingy to roll your thighs and the back of your legs and your butt. Oh my gosh. No, I did not. There's <laughs> a bunch of wooden stick. Uh, here's one in, another one of those thong panty things. And here's one for waxing. Here's this place that I go to school for my statistician points and credits and stuff. Here's this in case you wear heels. So you got this little spongy thing. And uh, yeah. And here's a clear bra strap. Here's some flower pasties, flower pasties. Lots of flower pieces. What the heck? <sighs> Some sponges that plop up and whatever when they're exposed to water. This I'm going to give to my sister because it's like literally brand new and it's like the Anastasia one. So put it up there. This is another wrap for um, like when I worked at body contouring stuff. Here's when I went to go tanning before I went to California. So I had to buy these. And here are for my Nike high tops. And here's some like muslin wrap or whatever fa uh, fabric because I was gonna sew a bunch of little face pads, DIY face pads. Garbage, garbage. Oh, I needed this yesterday when I was filming. I have uh like a bunch of lint and stuff and that lint that flies all over oh my gosh from walgreens get out of here um a finishing powder let me give this to my sister because it's a closed garbage what are these no slip bra straps oh a bunch of bra straps and straps for my faja or my compression garment it's not even a faja more of those. My son did this, so I'll fit. And some alcohol pads. And these waxing pennies. Garbage. And just some more clear bra straps. I feel like I'm Jennifer Lopez in the wedding planner. Like, I had everything in my kit. Like, everything. Here's another little one. I'll probably keep this in my car because it's super crazy. And here is, oh my God. here is a white 
literally a white strip because I was trying to do the Bride of Frankenstein. So I need like the white stripe on the side, but I was trying to do it on somebody else because I already was that for Halloween. All right, you guys, thank you so much for staying with me to the very end and cleaning with me literally all week. And don't forget to clean all your makeup, well, the edges and what you touch, with alcohol so everything's nice and sanitized. I still have these bags that I have not yet used, so we're just going to also fill this with extra makeup that I have in here. Because I'm just going to have everything situated. And yeah, I'm also going to fix my nail polishes and make sure all this is like perfect. And I kind of like want to take stuff out of the drawers and stuff. And get stuff more condensed and packed away. So I hope you enjoyed. And make sure to like and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you will be notified on the next video that I upload. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys. I didn't want to kiss my hand because I went cleaning, so. I literally am starting to clean up all the garbage that was in here. Where's my, I left it on the table. I was going to film all like the crazy behind the scenes. But, oh, crap, this is a cleaning video. Let me go get the video so you could see. But first, let me cut my nail. Oh my goodness. Alright, bye guys.